Hey everyone, Deadbind here. Welcome back to Hardcore Enigmatica 6. This is episode number 15. Last time we got to the swamp, we got our slime blocks. We got some slimy nests for bees. That was cool. Uh, we finished up our, our Iron Golem vanilla farm here. Just got to slowly give us iron over time. We're going to improve that, of course. Uh, but today, we have our slime balls here. So we're going to work really hard on getting to refined storage. Uh, and also remember, this is all being live recorded at twitch.tv forward slash deadpine. Make sure you come out, check out the live stream. And yeah, should be fun. Should be fun. Let's do it. Um, Twitch app. And then soon there'll be like the F2B stuff. But. <laughs> YouTube voice. I do change my voice with the YouTube intros. Sorry, YouTube. I just want to, you know, put a little energy into it, you know? All right, good. So, refined storage. We need to make all this junk. Oh, I need the quartz for that. We need to go mining for quartz. No, I have some quartz. All right, we, sh we should be good. Also, I'm trying not to sleep so I can get phantoms to spawn. I want to get some phantoms going as well. I think I need, like... We'll save out eight of those. Uh, you know, we'll save out that much. This this should be good. This is uh, just stone. The base of this is pretty pretty easy to get going. Okay, and this is this is the reason I needed um, slime balls. Got to get that string rolling here. Okay, so we have to make ourselves a bunch of this. And again, a stack of this should get us our basic system up and running, and that's why you don't, you'll, you don't need that many slime balls for this. This should be good, said no one ever building a storage system. What? Wait, what? Storage systems are fun. All right, so we've got a couple types of silicon here. It's the easiest one to get. Serdis quartz can also be done up that way as well. Okay. Need more enriched iron? Nah. Just for the basic one. We'll be good to go here. Alright, let's get that going. Honestly, we can go get more, more nether quartz probably really easily. Okay, I'm going to save out a couple of these just for... Uh, I believe there's some, like, higher processes we need to make with those. What, what is happening? Yeah, why is my why is my music super loud? I don't get it. Let's... Let's back this... I feel like I'm shouting over the music. Let's back that bad boy off a little bit. I feel like it's just the songs have been super loud. Am I recording them? No. That's... Uh, same as my Twitch stream. No, not yet, Shadow Master. No Tinker's Construct yet. What am I ignoring? LED, LED do? I don't know why it's a bit louder than usual. I didn't like. I didn't do anything this. I, I this is this is my, my biggest pet peeve is when you change nothing and things get and things change. I hate that. I hate that so much with a burning passion. Like go tinkers, you really don't need it. Um, yeah, honestly, I'm okay with like vanilla mod, like vanilla style modded tools. And it could just be the song too, but yeah, I don't know. I'm not looking for good enough. I'm looking for fun, Mr. Oxymoron. So back in the past, even though enchanting and vanilla tools was good enough still, Tinkers was more fun for me. You know? All right, I need to get at least... We'll say eight of those. Get that cooking. We're going to need the other ones as well. We're going to need gold in addition to that. So get all of our gold out here. Uh, 
What? Ah. Had invisible diamonds. Classic. Uh, yeah, let's just grab that. I think I'm gonna need some of the iron ones too, huh? Um, and then real quick, we're gonna pop into the nether here. Can't wait to jam this all into one place. It's gonna be amazing. Uh, where do I have all my steak? There it is. Also never put, never equipped it this guy. Since this increases my damage. Plus four attack. It's pretty good. Make Batania legs. Um, oh man, like the sash, you mean? Sash plus these running shoes would probably be insane for exploring. Tetra companion mods rather the E6 tools would be even more fun. Nice. Yeah, like I said, I am I am all for both. I am most people. This is a gold piece. Okay, I was gonna say I thought he's at me, coming at me. Um, most people really lo either love want always want tinkers or. Oh, I guess that's not true. There's probably a lot of people that are in my mindset where like, I like having a mixture of packs that have it and don't have it. You know. God, don't do that. Um, although I don't think it's. Because you used to be like, oh my gosh, you didn't put Tinkers in your pack? Not going to play it, you know? I think that, that mentality is going away a little bit, at least. Hopefully. Oh, no, why are you trying to get me to do that last time? Yeah. We'll get there eventually, I'm sure. Not too worried about it. There's honestly some great barters to be had with this gold. So I wonder if we could get, like, an insane gold farm going. And just do a crazy bargaining, you know, setup. I've been able to repair your Tetra tool with Batania Mana. Oh, that's uh, that's really cool. So, like, it gives you, like, modularity of tools. Like, all tools across all the board. That's really cool. Because that makes it feel like a really cohesive pack. And not just a bunch of randomness. How much do we get per... On this? Six. That's pretty That's pretty dope. I knew it was going to be a lot, but I didn't think it was going to be six. I thought it was going to be four, if I'm being honest. All right, so I need to make iron processors here. So I really just need to get these guys cooking. And that said, I'm going to be really excited when Tinker's Construct does come out for 116, and I'm going to be excited to play with it. Gonna be really excited to play with it. But again, I love the, I love vanilla 116, so like with that, especially with the addition of like netherite into the mix, it's really fun. Okay, I gotta get these iron processors up and running here. Well, I guess I used up all of these. Or I put them away somewhere. I think I just put them away somewhere. It's fine. So get the iron processors going here. Got to get these guys cooked up as well. Same cycle here. Get some more silicon cooked up as well. Mini staff of power. Yeah, the Ender I, I do like Ender IO. The update to the mod that had like all the end steel stuff in it. I didn't get to play nearly as much as I wanted to. Um, and I really enjoyed their, like, late game stuff. Never ending possible content. Yeah. Yeah. And I, and I like mod, I like mods, and I'm sure, uh, Ryan Nosaurus agrees with me here. I like mods that make for a good time in, um, mod development. Like, I like I like mods that mod pack devs can be clever with and make good stuff with. You know, let their imagination flow instead of having the mod be like, this is how you do this, you know? Is this New Beginnings? No, this is Enigmatica 6. I like the grains mechanic. It was really easy to set up farms. 
Project E is the best? Yes and no. I've so yes, I agree. Being able to make clever clever stuff with Project E is really cool, but it's very rare. I feel like it's very rare. So, all right, I gotta like remove this junk. Really killed some of my house there. Holy crap. Got to move all that junk over. Everything's filled. All right. Smack that boy, bad boy there. Let's go get um, this guy. So we got to make an energizing hub there. To get the next level of this, that's okay. Um, again, we're going for very, very basic setup here. Um, this should have power after that. It, uh, of course, needs other stuff there. We need the disk drive. Okay, get a machine casing going there. I need a chest. No problem. Chest achieved. Let's go ahead and get that going there. Oh, I need an energy storage. Oh, I need a controller. Got it. It's been a minute since I've done this. All right, no problem. Like, quite literally, no problem. Done and done. Nice. Now we just need discs. I love the extra disc stuff. All right, that's applied energistics. Uh, oh, they're storage parts. That's what they're called. Got it. This one just needs a ton. Metric ton of the iron stuff. And a bunch of this junk, too. Which is a good thing we got an iron farm going, huh? Nice. This is glass and silicon as well. Okay. I'll have to go get some more glass. For sure. Finding a desert would be really good. Um, without a doubt. Uh, we can also get a um, storage bus and connect it into a bunch of these. I've had those happen before, no wired, yeah. They are, they are rather funny. The, uh, the whole... Oh, you put all your items in literally one basket? A one-block wonder thing? Or a two-block wonder thing? Oh, let me just explode those for you. Have fun gathering everything else again. <laughs> so redstone and refined storage. Or redstone and refined iron. Or quartz and rich iron. Got plenty of redstone here. Not sure why that didn't go. All right. And what this will do, I just need to get four of these going. So we make 4K. I don't know why it's not working there. Let's just bring these out. It's it's because it doesn't have space to work with. I think that's why it's bugging out. I just need glass. Oh, we've had plenty of our own adventures in... Uh, Adventures in chance cubes, we'll say. I'm not sure what the best ones have been. I think I think one of the best ones is actually highlighted on the YouTube. It's the uh, the one where we were it was Project Ozone Two. I think I was playing on a server with the League of Extraordinary Gamers, and we were. I was obsessed with living in the um, the one dungeon. I can't remember what it's called in the aether and we had a reactor cube go off 
inside of that dungeon, which was surrounded by bedrock. And then the bedrock like made this a giant cavern. It was super cool to work in because it was just bed. It was just a bedrock cavern in a dungeon that you could like. It was the craziest thing ever. It's crazy. It's the craziest thing ever. There's there's a highlight of it on my YouTube. If for those who are curious about what it looked like afterwards. It's bonkers. Nice, Mithy. That's awesome. What up, Bucksword? I'm doing great this morning. How you doing today? Oh, sold that. Good to see you. Hope all's well. All right. Uh, sorry, I need to get um, that going. Oh, I didn't pick up a nearly enough of that, did I? Go back and grab that while that's cooking. I gotta harvest this sugar cane. Get a proper farm going. We could totally get a, a, a sweet vanilla farm going. Or a vanilla farm with flavor going there. Um, like sugar cane style farm. Because we could totally just have like some sort of like uh, absorption hopper or something like that. Still same thing with the observers. Etc. I actually don't know where I harvested this sand from, so I'm going to grab some more. Or maybe it was just two stacks. Oh, it, it, that's right. Because So, ore excavator is at 128 blocks total. Makes sense. Or is that the server where Ludi planted a world killer tree, then blamed it on you? Wow. Ludi. Or should I say Ludi Colo at the time? Not nice. Oh, we did put these slimes. I bet you these guys need flowers to work with. We actually have a ton of flowers. Let's get a let's get a bunch of flowers up top there just to see. We're still waiting for this glass to cook, so. Like, what if we just like put a bunch of these around up top there for the slime bees? Mr. Purple, how are you today? It's fantastic to see you. I think you've been here. But this is like a vanilla take on resource bees from like forestry bees, which were way worse than this, by the way. That's going to be kind of cool, actually, for resource gathering. Let's go check out our iron farm here. Look at that. Stack and a half, and I've been here for like 20 minutes, and we don't even have any like looting or anything like that happening. That's so good. I might have had something to do with it, handed him the sapling, but I did warn him not to plant it. That's fair. You war you see, you gave him warning. You <laughs> you got your disclosure. You know? You gave him your disclosure. So he cannot sue. You know? Is rats installed? I don't think so, but I'm not hundred percent on that. Uh don't I have quartz iron somewhere? I could have swore I had some quartz iron somewhere. Did I put it in here? I did. Uh, yep, we're good on that. Okay. Oh, beautiful. That's exactly what we want. And this, of course, requires these... Um, these guys. I think I was short iron on that one. So I'm just tapping R over something to see how I cook it. More glass going here. Rats is a rather funny mod. So the so the cool part about this is um every time you for for refined storage specifically, refined storage is based off of number of items. Okay. So A has that whole like item type and number of items of the one type. It's annoying. It's annoying. Refined storage is just raw storage amount of items. So 1024 holds 10,024 items or 1024 items. That's it. You're done. The cool thing is every time you upgrade one of these, you get an extra 25%. So three 1Ks makes a 4K. Four, three 4Ks makes a 16K. And it gets higher and higher as the more the higher you go up. So 164K drive costs less storage from 1Ks than 64 1K drives. So 
it's it's your you're better off upgrading these and then going from there than the other way around, you know? So if we can make 16k drives here, which is what I want to do, or even 64k's. I think I'm going to go with just 16k's though, actually. Uh, and then we'll go from there. It's in the wrong place here. Um, and then we'll upgrade them from there. But then 64k, but no resources to store in it anyway because you use them all to make the 64k's, but they're not that expensive. This seems expensive, but it's not that expensive. Alright, so I just need a little bit more in the way of iron. Plenty for that silicon. No problem. No problem. We'll save out a stack of this. Oh, yes. This is where the dumping happens. Also, the th one thing I like about um, refined storage as well is the sizing. I can change the size of this. Playing on auto GUI scale. Changing the sizing of this cannot do that in AE, and that it bothers the hell out of me how few rows I get to see in auto. But with this guy, we don't have to worry about that. So that's nice. Oh no, these all go up here. Anything in here I want to bring down? I don't think so. Maybe these. A 264k holds more than 64k items. True, but you're limited by that. Um, you know, my A, my refined storage and my A storage are for a bunch of little random crappy things. I'd rather have the ability to store 1,024 swords than 64 of a larger amount of the other ones. I know the math works out better for the other one if you have. A large amount of like cobble or a large amount of that, but I have storage drawers for that. I'd rather combine storage drawers and the refined storage system than that. Just the way I that's the way I like to make my storage systems, you know? And even for right now, oh, that's right, they hold their inventory now. I forgot about that. That's annoying. Even right now, I actually want to empty these. And we're going to do this later. Um, so basically, I'm going to make storage drawers for. Stuff that kind of is overflowing our system here, but I want to wait till our system actually gets overflowed. Correct. With the external storage bus, which is really nice. Uh, Chewy. Yeah, making them... Making them... Getting in that additional system going for your large, you know, for your cobblestone, for your whatnot, is really nice. Even with the cobble right now, we're going to do it this way. I just want to see. I want to see everything, even the dirt, until we get like solid upgrades going and whatnot. Um, and I'm sure I'm gonna regret this later, but whatever, it's fine. Because I'm not sure where I want to put my storage drawer system just yet, and all that good stuff. All right, more silicon here. Let's um keep getting more of these going if we can. Oh, right, because I needed... There's a balance there. I forgot about that. Okay. So, again, more silicon. Oh, more power, actually. Actually, we're going to have to look into some more... I, I want to get some, like, infinite power sources, like a windmill or something like that. Not just coal. Did fluid crafting the best? A2RS... No idea. Auto crafting is. I have no interest in auto crafting, and I don't particularly. I, I prefer just big tanks. Okay, let's get that going. Get more of that going, to be honest. Cool thing is, once that finishes, it'll um, 
spread them out evenly after the fact. It's a really, really cool furnace to have. Okay, and then I need to make a 16K component, which we got. And then we're going to make another 16K disc here. We should be good to go for a long time with 32K. Um, like, that was 2,000 and... A th like, that was almost 4,000 items just from cobble and whatnot. Hey, phantoms. That was quick. Take that. I need the, I need the membranes for a lot of things. Come on over. I'm not over there. I'm not over there, you dummy. Five membranes, sick. For what I want out of a storage mod sold at, yes, I agree. I think. I think um, refined storage is far, far superior as well. I only got one from that guy. That guy's being stingy. All right. This is what we call the classic dead pine uh, dump. Pardon the name. But we like to, when we get one of these going, we like to just dump everything into our system and just look at its magnificence. And remember that we don't have to deal with just a bunch of double chests. It's wonderful. Trust me. And we could just do bop, bop. We just break all of our stuff. Just, oh yeah. Just get it all going into there. And you'd be surprised how little you can store in a in a two in a two part chest here. We're not even gonna we're like one sixteen K probably was enough for all of our stuff here. And it all stacks nicely. All the stuff that was like kinda hidden in your stuff. Like you get to see how many seeds you had. It's wonderful. Absolutely wonderful. Anything in there? No. Look at that. Alright. Not even close to a 16k. Look at that. It's beautiful. It's wonderful. <sighs> and it feels... It feels good. It feels good to have one of these. I haven't had one of these in a long time. Storage is searchable, craftable, all that good stuff. You'll love to see it. That guy ran out of power too. Makes sense. Uh, you got a lot of options, uh, Henio. There's FTB Academy that teaches you the mods as you go, but anything with a quest book that's not an expert mode, anything with it has a YouTube series behind it, but it really depends on your tenacity. You really can just start with anything. It's easier to start with like the Academy packs, but you can really start with anything you want. You just gotta be willing to look up look up a lot of stuff. Did you try the Embodied chair before they bought the Aaron? I did not. I'm honestly trying to picture picture the Embodied chair and I can't off the top of my head. Two stacks. Right, Carlos. Remember, you're you're familiar with P2P. People play Minecraft to relax and have fun. People who are not engineers or network engineers are not going to know how to do that, nor want to spend the time to learn how to do that. I get it. It's cool. I just want to have a big ass chest with a search bar. That's it. You know. And, I, and I've heard that argument before, and I, that's great. That's awesome that that's out there for people who enjoy that. But you go ask any individual, they're playing Minecraft to relax and have fun after work, not work more, you know? So, anyway, that's my two cents on that. Yeah, I think it's been uh, before that sold out. I think the earlier versions were like 1.6 and even 1.5 maybe? I don't know. Somewhere in there. All right, we did good there. Uh, let's look at traps. Oh, I need to make this JEI synchronized. Because I want to get these traps going. Player damage trap. Yeah, I want to get the player damage trap going before anything else. I need to go kill squids. 
Although this might actually get us where we need to be. Let me get the mortar pestle here. Oh, I love this. The, the simplicity of the die update for Minecraft makes modded so much cooler. You know? I think that's so cool. Uh, we also have this. Oh, we just have straight up sight. Oh, that's light blue. Let's get that mortar pestle going here. I need to save some of these. So I can make more of that. Okay, we can do that. That should be more than enough there. Okay. Player damage trap. Any of these swords relevant or necessary? No. I don't even think I care about life mending, to be honest. So. Let's go ahead and get this. And then we're going to go ahead and pick up that. And then I'm going to need some sort of experience. I'm pretty, I'm pretty sure these guys are going to drop... Um, are going to drop experience when they die. No, they don't. Interesting. Huh. I don't know. Interesting. I thought they were going to drop experience for that. Damages mob that touch the player. Damage will drop XP and loot. Do, do golems not drop EXP when they die? I thought they did. Huh. Well, there you go. Okay. Nice. Let's get rid of these. Gobs don't drop any XP as far as I know. Okay, so that, that actually makes that pretty simple. I guess the Lava Blade's the same thing then. Um, so let's see what kind of Ender Chests we have access to. Because getting these guys linked via Ender Chests would be awesome. Ender Chest Backpack. Ender Cell? Don't think so. Is there a way to turn this into the Ender Chest that I want it to be? Aldreas, thank you for 61 months. Holy smokes. That's a lot of months. Sadly, not yet. Okay. Let's get some love and hype in the chat, please, guys. That's over five years in that end moot. I really appreciate that. Um, all right. Let's get... Uh, I think we should start working towards we should start working towards better power so this guy never runs out of power as well as getting to the end at getting our flight going quantum ender porter thingy for mechanism does items too right i believe so it's just it's way more complicated than just a simple ender chest Ethylene mechanism power. Let's not get ahead of ourselves there. Honestly, windmills are just... If they're still in here... I remember them being way OP. If they're still in mechanism, I don't know if they are or not. There's also thermoelectric. Yeah, they are here. Wind generator, got it. So how hard are you to make and how close are we? We're pretty close. We just need that and that. Okay, so I really just need a large amount of these. Hey, good thing we got an iron farm going. I'm going to say that a lot, probably. 
All right, let's see if we can get the factory upgrade card. Might as well upgrade that. Upgrade. I forget what they're called. Installers. We're not quite there yet. That'll, uh, that'll speed this process up by a lot. <sighs> you talking to me, Mithy, on that? Lady Pine and I are great. We're, we're chilling. Got the added stresses of back to school, but... Other than that, we are good. Good to go. All right. Uh, what's the power cable for this? Also, these are these are more efficient the higher up they are. Hmm. Which is really why getting the wireless power would be good as well. But also at the end of the day, like. This should be enough to run this controller. I basically just want to be able to run this controller infinitely here. It's making 61 per tick, which is honestly, that's enough. So, thanks, Mithy. Yeah. Yeah, I mean, the state of the world has, you know, added stresses to anything. So if you're your normal stress level in a day, I, we, this is a good analogy we had the other day. If your normal stress level in a day is like a two to a three, just baseline level, everything's up to a five. And then when you have a really bad day, instead of going from that two to three to five, you're going from five to eight, you know? Hey, congratulations, Mithy. That's really awesome. Yeah, we had June 29th was our one year. Congratulations. That's that's really epic. Uh, at... Power. I need to make the cables. I want to see if this works with mechanism. It works with that, but not with... Oh, no, this is the output. Uh, it does. All right, cool. So, we'll do it this way. Nice. So now I can probably get rid of this. It uses six F. It uses six per tick. So like this is this is perfect, perfect solution to get everything running so it doesn't go. Love this holes in this. Well, I appreciate you being here. All right, cool. So now we don't have to worry too much about having like spare coal on hand for for all that stuff. Um, and we can get these guys going properly this way. All right. Let's go check on our villagers, I think. Um, uh, is our difficulty still normal? It is. Should have done that a, a bit. Uh, probably. Journeys, the mechanism cables being a bit better, probably. But I don't know by how much. I think they're more upgradable. Okay. Oh, there's more glass in there. We should just come and grab this, huh? Um... We have access to so much sand. Um, I guess I do need to sleep if we're going to be trading villagers, right? But we can at least do one round of trades here. That's right. I want to get these flower I wanted to get these flowers going as well. Forgot about that. 
I wonder if I could bone meal them. Hmm, here's an interesting thought. I wonder if I could bone meal the flowers in, like, a flower pot. That would actually be kind of epic. I kind of want to level this guy up, so we're just going to buy a bunch of these random ones. I want to see what their final trade is. And their cells are very cool wireless energy. I believe it. So that's it. That's all he has. Got it. So not the best. I wonder if there's different uh, levels. It's a good way to turn slag into emeralds, though. I like that. I do like that. He's butchering. This guy was our step assist. Which we really don't even need anymore. And then silk touch there. Alright, well, we'll leave all this junk in here. Um, yeah. Can't bone meal a flower in a power pot? Okay. We'll still have them available to bone meal. Because that is a good trade to have. I hear you. Where are you? All right, fair enough. Let's go ahead and grab all this. Just do some maintenance stuff here. It's gonna murder my energy here. Cause I think we're gonna need to start working on getting towards power and all that good stuff. Or not better power. Um, creative flight would be a major up, right? So we'll start looking at like what kind of modded bows we can get. Stuff like that. No worries, no word. Next time I try to, try to have to cut down a whole forest, I'm going to try using steak. I mean, it's really quite simple, Mercutio. It really is. It's, it's, it's quite easy. You know. I'm really surprised most major logging companies haven't adopted this yet, if I'm being honest with you. It just makes sense. Just take power chainsaw. You know, it just makes sense. All right, I wanted to go. Wanted to go replace this. This. I want to go replace the one that was open here because. End of the day, a baby zombie could get in there, and that would be bad for us. Uh, no phantoms, though. I was hoping to get some phantoms. Let's also go get the sugar cane. Did Mythbusters, Mythbusters do something involving power and stake? I would believe it. They really did kind of everything in that show. Away, so we have room. All right, got it all. Very good. Is there an Enderman caught in here? I can't tell. Maybe up top. Oh, I think he's caught up top here. Well, that's just weird. EPA and PETA, that seems like a nightmare. That's yeah, you're probably not wrong there. Alright. Pissing off Enderman is not generally a good idea, but our sword is quite powerful, so. Can't complain about that. All right, we'll just do a full tree harvest here and then call it good. Uh, 
All right, nice. I do love having a uh, magnet mode. Not the best setup again, but well, eh, at least we'll get something going here. I guess I need power for that. Okay, put all this away. We'll get that powered up as well. Okay, I wouldn't say no to maybe getting further into the power mod and just sort of seeing what's up with that. I can also get that connected to the... Um, I could definitely get that connected to the windmill. I think that would be fine. Ho! Oh, careful! Thanks. Because rocks won't work for me, I sent a poop on your pillow for Cora. Thanks, thanks, Carlos. I appreciate that. <laughs> uh, not sure why rocks isn't working for you. That's weird. But thank you very much for... Uh, I think, I think the idea was that you're preventing Core from pooping on my pillow. But yeah, you know, that's the, that's the deal. <laughs> Thank you for the $3.33, Carlos. I appreciate that. Oh, there we go. Phantoms. This is what I was waiting for. I'm to get those membranes going. Now that we know that the wandering villagers may have crazy insane swords... You don't, Life's Rich. It's, uh, it's a bug in this pack. I need to my afternoon nap. Was fun hanging out with you, DP and chat. Have yourself a great day, everyone. Hey, Catch thank you. Later, Pop Pikachu. Thank you very much, Ryan Soros, for the support. And uh, my pleasure, man. Why, why is this guy being weird? Thank you very much for the first bits of the day. Skipping the gray bit bar, going right to purple. Why are you being weird? Thank you. Wait, he really didn't uh, drop any membranes with looting four? Didn't drop any membranes. That seems kind of crazy. Don't know. Weird. Weird. This needs more power, of course. Which is why we're making this. So we'll split this in half. Put this here. I would love to get like blaze powered stuff. All right, cool. YouTube, that is going to do it for this episode. We got a big accomplishment right here. Iron Farm still going strong. We got our refined storage system up and running, which is a big, big, big deal. It's going to make crafting from here on out just really good. We can also centralize our storage. So basically, we're going to dump everything that we are using into this system and then pull it back out if we need to. Uh, maybe potentially some auto crafting. I don't know. We'll see. So. Definitely a good place to be at. Let's put these in our bag here. And uh, thanks so much for, for tuning in. If you are enjoying the content on YouTube, make sure you like and subscribe. All that good stuff. Let me know I'm doing something right. Leave some constructive feedback in the comments down below. Carlos, thank you for the $4.20. Meow. Appreciate that. M E O O O O O W W. And with that, YouTube, I will catch you in the next episode. Thanks so much for tuning in. Bye bye.